welcome back to another video one of my favorites one of your favorites a classic what i eat in a day show you my workout exactly what i eat and just kind of like take you along my day a little bit of a day in the life kind of thing so as you would have seen so far i started my day off with some yoga honestly i've literally just been doing all of my workouts right in this spot and honestly so far even though we're only like just over a week into lockdown i've kind of been really enjoying doing at home workouts i don't know i think it's just something different so yeah i did that this morning i'm currently doing like a 30 day yoga challenge which i am filming all for a video so stay tuned for that I'm absolutely loving yoga at the moment and i really wanted to set myself this 30 day challenge especially at the moment because not really like i can leave the apartment so i don't really have an excuse not to do it but anyway now it is time for some breakfast it's about 10 o'clock and honestly lately i haven't really been getting hungry for breakfast until like 10 o'clock so i'm just kind of rolling with and just kind of eating whenever I'm hungry but I am hungry now so I thought I would show you my go-to breakfast at the moment honestly I make this every single day I'm that obsessed with it take me to the streets so I can celebrate never knew a feeling better than today means to a beginning of a brighter day letting in a feeling mending what we break find the solely sin and this my look I was gonna say things that I love but honestly like my obsessions like these are my obsessions at the moment yes I'm talking about these bad boys I feel like if you've been following my channel for a while you will have seen me use probably all of these products before I often do get quite a few questions about protein powders what ones I recommend what ones I use blah 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 I am fully dairy free so I only use vegan proteins and it's safe to say I think I found the one they are the brand Naked Harvest and they're actually made by Georgie Stevenson, which I feel like everyone knows. Like, she's just a boss babe. She founded this company with her brother and honestly, like, they have done such an incredible job. I'm actually so obsessed because there's a few reasons. I'm going to list them for you. You're welcome. Oh, by the way, the flavors are mango cheesecake, which at first I was like, nah, I wouldn't like that. Like, mango cheesecake. I'm not a massive cheesecake fan, but this is hands down my favorite at the moment. I go through stages, but this one is my favorite at the moment. Then you've got peanut butter brownie, which does that not sound like the best thing ever? Like, oh, it's so good. Then the classic is the vanilla shortbread. I'm like almost out of this one. This is just the one I use when like, I don't know what I'm feeling because it's just classic. Everyone needs vanilla protein in their life. Now I'm saying, but honestly, what I love most about these is of course the taste. I can't go past that, but it's actually got a few specific ingredients that are really good for your like skin, balancing hormones, your digestion, all that kind of stuff. It literally has those ingredients in here. It's got maca powder, which is good for like stress relief and hormone balancing. Psyllium husk, which is really good for like going to the toilet. Good for the digestion. If you ever find proteins kind of like make you a bit upset in the stomach, this is exactly what that does. Like it makes sure that your tummy's just happy, you know? Siberian ginseng, which is like mental performance and like immunity boosting, which right now I'm really trying to focus on as well. Just keeping my immune system really, really high. And there's also digestive enzymes for a happy gut. Like name another protein powder that does all that. I'll wait. Then they've also got natural pre-workouts, which I kind of like told myself, well, I didn't really tell myself, but I never thought that I would get into pre-workouts because I know that so many of them are filled with just, just like not great stuff and just like make you crash or can give people anxiety, all that kind of stuff. So I was just kind of like, I don't want to put that into my body, but these, they are so good. It has no like artificial colors, sweeteners, all that kind of stuff. It also has natural mood enhancers. While I'm working out, I just feel happy. I remember this one time I went to the gym. My friend also takes it before she works out every day. And we were literally like, before we were working out, we were so happy. It was like 6 a.m. in the morning. We were like dancing, having a good time. Everyone else was like, what are you doing? And we were like, oh my gosh, you work out. Especially at the moment, I find it kind of harder to motivate myself to work out at home especially so even though the gyms are closed and we can't go to the gym i still love taking these it's kind of just like a nice routine to get into like i sit down 15 minutes before my workout drink one of these and i just it's a nice little routine to then just go like okay now i'm gonna work out you know what i mean there are also four flavors in the pre-workouts you've got the lemon lime crush which to me tastes like you know those like lemon icy poles oh, so good this is probably like 
Oh, probably my second favorite. You've got the sweet strawberry, which is really good. And I know this is Jess's favorite and I love this one as well. Like this is classic. And you've got the tropical iced tea, which I'm not a massive iced tea fan. I haven't opened this one, but I have tried one of my friend's ones before. But I feel like if you like iced tea, you would love this. It definitely tastes like iced tea. Ah, and then the holy grail grape. This is my favorite. Tastes exactly like Hubba Bubba. I'm not sure if they have Hubba Bubba like all around the world, but in Australia, you guys know, like when you're a kid, you have those purple like chewing gum. It tastes exactly like it. Even Sam was like, wow, that tastes exactly like Hubba Bubba. I was like, right? With things like pre-workout, I'm always a bit like, mm, like, oh, do they really work? I'm not sure. But honestly, these actually work and like they give you that little bit of extra energy and like mood booster, but like afterwards, you don't feel anything. Like you definitely don't feel a crash at all. They're just a great time, honestly. I bloody love them and I'm just so, so happy that I get to promote a brand that I like morally stand so much for, if that makes sense. Like I just love the brand. I love everything that they're about. I love Georgie. Also, my water bottle that I always have on me and it's got a sippy top, which you guys know, I love sippy top. So if you would like to shop any of the products, the proteins, pre-workouts, the water bottle, I will leave the website in the description box. And my cheeky little discount code is Sophie15 for 15% off everything. So yeah, that's my update. My hair is honestly so oily at the moment, but like, I kind of can't be bothered to wash it because it's not like I'm going out, you know? Also, this is my stash. <laughs> How just satisfying is all of that? I just have it on display and it genuinely makes me <laughs> a bit too happy. almond butter cookies all dairy free refined sugar free gluten free paleo it's just a good time gooey in the inside which is like my favorite thing ever but i just had one of those for a little snack and it was delicious but now i think i'm just going to quickly drive to the post office because i've got a few parcels that i've been meaning to pick up for a few days and i really need to go pick them up because they're going to be sent back to like the sender if i don't go pick them up i normally walk because it's like really really close but i think i'll just drive because there's like a main street that i have to walk through i'm trying my hardest to do the whole social distancing thing and the street's normally pretty busy so i feel like it's just best if i drive <laughs> So you would have just seen, I went to the post office and I just picked up the most exciting package ever. It's something that I've thought about getting for so long and the other day when I was home, alone, bored, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to treat myself and buy myself an Apple Watch. <gasps> Actually that excited, like I'm now a person that has an Apple Watch. Oh my god. I feel so fancy, like... <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, it is now dinner time. I just filmed a Princess Polly haul, which would have already been up on my channel, so I'll link it up here if you want to check it out. Do you want to help me make dinner? After this round. Okay, how long is that round? For tonight's dinner, we are going to be having homemade burrito bowls, and this is one of our favorite dinners. We have it quite often, just because it's so filling, delicious, great source of plant protein as well. This recipe is taken from my ebook, Oh That Glow. I've seen so many of you guys recreate this recipe and say that you love it, so I know it's a good one. Sam loves it too, so that is what we're going to be making tonight. Can you do the onion? <laughs> I always ask him to do the onion because I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have smoked paprika. Oh my god. How? We usually have like seven things. I know, I'm out. I've had such a productive day. A productive day, but you've been inside all day. Well, 
was but everyone's been inside all day with yeah. this. But you get cabin fever. I do get cabin fever. I start going like. Do, 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 yeah. I don't need to say do, anymore. Do, do, do. I've just worked out something really exciting, but I'm not going to put it in because it's a surprise, so I'm going to tell you. Oh. But oh. it's going to be like. I'm out of smoked paprika, which I normally put in this dish, but I just found this in the pantry and this is like Mexican and it smells good. So I'm just gonna like add a bit of this in and just kind of make it up as I go. Oh my gosh, that makes Could me so happy. There's not a star in heaven that we can reach. Alright, you choose the song. I gotta go my <laughs> own way. Go to heaven. What am I trying? You know, I know I never wanted to hurt you. And whatever I need. Flying. There's not a star in. That looks beautiful though. Now, don't judge us, but we have. Yeah. Where is it? We have microwavable rice. I know Actually, it's not good. Actually, turns out we didn't have rice. Yeah, so, so I was really, gonna do. Sam came to the rescue. Yeah, he really did. Because obviously we need rice. Don't eat it on the nail. I just tasted. Okay. I'm tasting again. <laughs> I know this isn't the best, but. Is it though? It's easy. It's really not that bad. No, but just like, you know, extra plastic when you don't really need it. Yeah. We got some ingredients. Oh yeah, it's fine it's ingredients, rice. but just like microwaving, you know, it's just... Yeah, it's not as good. Not as good, but that's okay. Also, most of the rice was sold out, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, no, they, they, we had to get what you get. I wanted to buy one tin of tomatoes, one tin of beans, and two tins of beetroot, and they were like, no. They were like, I couldn't get my beetroot, because we're only allowed two tins, and I was like... no, you have to choose one. I'm like, tomato is completely... I know, I was like, I totally get if... It's like, okay, you can just get beans, like two cans of beans, or just two cans of beetroot, blah, 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 blah. But these, tomatoes, beans, they're the same. I would understand if we could yeah. only get one of each kind of thing. And you also if I can't want get a beetroot. This. Which is totally different. Like, it's, it's not the same. <sighs> anyway. This is a job. But you could get split pea soup. Yeah. I was confused. So we got That's that. That's because no one wants split pea soup. Hey, it's good. I totally get the whole, like, you can't buy more than a couple of cans of one thing. But, like, come on, mate. I need my beetroot. Is that all we need? Ah, yeah. Can you do the rice, please? I did get sour cream, didn't I? I think so. I think Sam's got sour cream, and I have got coconut yogurt, because I always just use coconut yogurt. You can get dairy-free sour cream, but I can't find it at Woolworths, so. Nothing's so. up. Bean mix is thickening up quite nicely. I've also just been, like, smushing it to, like, make it, like, smushed. <laughs> and then the guac is looking... Fabulous. This is going to be such a good dinner. I think it looks so good. This is Sam's obviously with the cheese and this is mine. I've got nutritional yeast on instead. This just looks so good. We are watching our favorite show. This is like the most iconic scene and I haven't seen it yet. Okay, we're gonna watch Eddie do that. Very excited. dinner now sorry about the bad lighting one second there we go um so we finished dinner now finished dessert but anyway i think i'm literally just going to hop in the shower wash all my makeup off get into bed write my to-do list for tomorrow that's kind of my routine at the moment so i think i'm going to sign off the vlog here i really really hope you have enjoyed this what i eat in a day this is literally such a typical day of eating right now like this is 
basically exactly what I'm meaning and I am loving it so I really really hope you guys have enjoyed I'm not sure what my arm is doing so I'm just gonna put her here <laughs> make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and turn on the notification bell I never say this but you know what won't hurt you know okay I'm really gonna go now I hope you enjoyed again and I'll see you in my next video bye is this gonna work I don't know yeah cool kind of did <laughs>